Hi guys and welcome to Python tutorial of a timer. Yes, I meant a timer. I'm going to start by just clicking on stop. We just stop the timer and we can restart it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python and we put one of these together. So let's start by going straight in here. Let's select new file. And I'm going to just give it a name. Let's call it. I'm going to save that on my desktop. Let's come in here that says uh, timer. And I'm just going to call it timer YT. That stands for YouTube. There we go. And let's start by first of all, we need to import the following. I'm going to import time. I'll import your library. I'm going to say from Tikinta. Since it's going to be of graphical user interface, we might as well import Tikinta. And I'm going to get it to import it all, all of the component that I'll need. Then I'll come down here and I'll say root is going to be equals to Kinta. Enter parenthesis. Now I'm going to create my class. I'm going to call that class timer. And enter column there. Now let's define as follows. Right underneath my class, I'm going to say define and space underscore underscore. Let's get it initialized. Underscore underscore. Enter parent enter parenthesis and we say self comma and that is the argument that that's going to take there we go now i'm going to start by saying self dot root that's going to be equals root that's like the framework around it so now i'm now going to say root itself dot text uh, dot title will be equals let's just call that timer there we go now let's define the geometry say root dot geometry and while at it can you please just subscribe to the channel and if you want to join you can even join to become a member of the channel so the width is going to be 1000 the high to be 500 and I'm going to make the the coordinate I'm going to make that 100 by 100 okay that's cool there we go now the next thing is let's say configure uh, root.configure we now want to change the background color so let's say I'm just going to enter configure and that is going to be configure and what are we configuring the background make that equals my favorite color i'm going to call that cadet blue there we go now self dot time is zero initialize with zero now let's say self dot run that will be equals false okay it will now run straight away once the system starts that is good okay let's run it up here so i'm just going to say timer that is equals timer that is inside the root and I say root dot main frame that's main loop there we go so I just want to test it and see how that's going to look like this should be timer okay so let's come in here and just save and run there we go look we just created the framework now let's continue now the next thing is i'm going to 
create a frame here I'm going to call that root frame that will be equals frame as a widget call frame and this widget call frame is going to be child of the roots comma uh, let's say the back color itself is going to be colored blue paste that in there and let's add a little bit of padding to it pad vertical and get a padded horizontal as well so let's make that about 40 yeah that's cool uh, we can even make this let's say about four or we can also increase it if we want so that is the root itself the frame root and i'm going to round up the frame root frame root dot get grill dot grilled that is going to be inside roll equals zero and the color is going to be equals zero as well equals zero there we go that is taken care of now you see this very root i would like my title to be there i'm going to say title or let's uh, sorry let's say title label or label l b l title that is going to be the object or the widget called label this widget called label will be a child of root frame there and the font that i intend to use i'm going to make that area come right in here and just enter area and we'll close that here comma let's make the size about 100 and make that bold there we go and what about the text on it the text on it is just going to be let's say something like we can just say create a timer as the title then the bg color the color of this widget is going to be that there we go now what about the font color let's say the font color fg that will be equals something lighter i'm going to call that conslake that is my color that's the font color now next let's get a justify center justify that will be equal center there and the width I'm going to make that about 11 there we go and let's round up my title here come right here close that and right underneath here just get it round up that create that to be equal zero zero as well there we go that takes care of that so if i come in here to run save there we go look at that oh we don't seem to have enough room in here so let's see okay all right let's increase the border width instead of 11 i'm going to just make that 12 and let's see how that's going to look like save and run okay that's much better that's good now that is taken care of the next thing i want to do now is i'm going to take care of the other frames that i intend to use i might as well copy this come right down here paste i'm going to call this main frame and the main frame is going to be a chart of the root as well main frame if you notice this is roll zero so this one will be roll one and this is main frame as well there we go okay i have my main frame i'm going to also have some two child frame in there 
paste that and I'm going to call this top frame and enter top here and let's get it indented properly now the next one is going to be down frame so enter down here and here as well there we go now down frame that is correct main frame that is main frame right underneath the root frame and top frame is going to be a child of main frame there we go and this one as well now the top frame will be zero column zero and down frame is going to be row one column zero okay that's fine maybe i should add patterns to them but let's see how it goes first okay let me add some widget then we can then decide if we're going to add paddings to them so i'm going to let's add some space in here come in here under right underneath here i'm going to say self dot label let's just call that lbl that is supposed to be my timer lbl timer that's going to be equals label and this label is going to take in as follows i might as well copy all of this instead of reinventing the wheel let's copy and dump this then change this around paste and here is going to be a child of the top frame this one main main frame top paste that here then the font in this case i'm going to reduce it to about let's say 50 let's see how that's going to look like then the caption on it or the text on it let's say zero by zero by zero and that's it what about the border i'm going to leave the back color nothing i just change that to width let's see width that is going to be equals maybe 19 or something like that uh we can get it centered but let's get rid of this color here centered and oh i already have width in here so okay so take this off I'll just leave centered in there and it's going to be zero by zero let's see how that's going to look like i'm going to save that oh let's change this else the lbl change this to lbl save the timer there okay save that i just press there there we go that's it very good all right now we're getting somewhere the next thing is let's add buttons i'm gonna add let's call that self.start or self yeah self.btn start that to be equals button the widget is button and this button is inside mainframe button down mainframe down there comma the text on it that's going to be equals start what about the fonts we can make it 50 as well let's see if it's too big or too small we have to make adjustment border maybe bg bd that's five and border width border border width make that four 
Yeah, bro. Relief. I'm gonna make that I say equal solid. Do we really need that? Okay. And I want it positioned side by side. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's give it width anyway. Can just grab all of this. Dump it here. That might be too much. Maybe about 10. And I'm just going to run that up. Dot grid. And that's going to be 0 by 0. Grab this. No, that would be close this. And that's going to be 1, 0. All right. I'm going to copy this now. I use that to for this top button. Copy and paste. The stop button column is going to be rule one column one and the name. Let's just change this to stop. And here is stop. They are both charred of the frame. Okay, and the text content here will be stop. All right, let's run it and see before we create the functions. Okay, look at that. Very good. All right, let's. Maybe I should get rid of uh, or add a background color to this one so that it's not that bright. So grab this and just dump it in there. Make that the background color to the to the label so come right here run there we go oh we just see is the, the counter All right and maybe increase the font size a little bit make it about 60 come right here save run okay looking good all right now underneath here i'm going to create some functions to drive these buttons. The very first function I'm going to call that update. So let's start by saying function update underscore timer and that takes in the following there. And let's use an if if self dot run or running. If you can still remember the running variable that was declared up there, that's it. Okay. Enter column. Then I'm going to say self dot time. That's plus equals one. Then in the case of minutes, that is going to be integer as an integer value self dot time. We want to divide that by 60. Yeah, that's as simple as that. The same thing we apply to second. Let's say seconds. That would be equals. Save the timer. Then we make that percentage of 60. There we go. Now, what about minutes? hours we need hours in the case of hours we're gonna to have to divide that so i'm gonna grab hold of this come right down here and let's say hours oh we need to take care of minutes hours so i'm going to say hours that is equals there. So hours is going to be minutes. Let's say minute divided by 60. And finally, we then say minute percent. Now grab all of this. Paste that there. 
of that would be minute again equals minute percent 60 there all right so all we then need to now do is just to enter that straight into the this label here this time a label so i'm going to grab all of these and paste it right underneath here and we then say dot configure dot config the text whatever text we have in there which is going to be as follows enter curly braces and semicolon and column then we say zero two d and that is going to be for the other one as well enter column here i'm just going to copy this anyway we need three of those that's two three uh, and this here then get it formatted to hours minutes and seconds hours comma minutes comma and seconds there and let's now say self dot root dot after one thousand then we want it to get itself updated underscore time there we go okay let's create two functions one to start the timer this is wrong that should be start and the other one to stop the timer so let's come in here and i'm going to yeah let's just copy this and change it around paste and this is going to be stop timer or start start timer okay and for it to start timer we need to get hold of the updates come right down here and just say self dot update and what are you updating that's going to be the timer anyway then we also want run set dot run that will become true let's do that first that is equals true right okay that's taken care of now let's call this very function so that is going to be command let's come in here you see where we have our button here let's say comma command equals self dot start so if it's all correct that should work for me so let's click on run let's see what did i do wrong here indentation invalid let's see that should be valid now just let's come in here again try to run it indentation is very important here there we go look at that that is good now let's take care of stop so i'm gonna copy these uh just these two we do anyway come down here paste let's get it indented again yeah i think that's correct then let's, let's change this to stop and run that will become false there we go now let's copy all of this command and paste it right here then change this to stop there yeah okay stop time no that should be st no won't do that what have i done this should be stop there we go now 
I will call this and I'll call this. Indentation is right, so let's run it now. Run. There. Start the time. And stop. Start the timer from where you stop. See that, guys? That is how you create your own timer. My next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a stopwatch. The stopwatch is totally different from a timer. Okay. So let me show you guys the lines of code before I call it the end of this timer. Take it from the top. Make sure you call the following library, declare your Takinta, create a class. And inside this class, that, that's where I define the properties of my frame, how it's going to look like and how the system is going to look like, the size, the background color, title, okay, and so on. And I created frame here, the sub, the title of the of the project and the subframe inside then create some widget label button button and here are the functions and the whole process here now let's run it one more time run there so with that guys i will call it the end of this beautiful story and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now